comes back as more of a blessing to you. And maybe if you are, ever find yourself in despair and trouble and depression begins to set in, you know what I'd say? Well, get up, honey. <laughs> get going and go do something for the Lord. Amen. And allow God to use you in the way that He created you to be. God's work. <laughs> Receive God's divine assignment. <laughs> Get this. God gave a great gift to Elijah <laughs> because as one that he was going to anoint, it was Elisha. Again, he was the one who followed Elijah and he was able to pour his life into a younger man of God to carry on the work. What's incredible, and I'm out of time, I want to have a time of prayer. What is incredible, it just dawned on me. What Elijah worried most about, you know, Jezebel coming and coming him down, guess what? Never came to pass, never happened. And Elijah, he didn't experience death. The Lord did. What we worry about most, usually never. Why? Because we're in the hands of God. And so, don't let the what ifs hold you back. Jesus said in John chapter 16, verse 33, He says, I have told you these things so that you may have peace. He was speaking to his disciples. He said, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Family, we have um, much that is before us. We've been placed here for such a time as this, even for the storm that has come through with our neighbors. But take heart. God is overcome. We don't have to allow what Satan wants to feed us, the depression and the despair to overtake us. You see, God's the overcome. I love this verse. It's one of my friend's favorite verses. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Family, with God's help, with God's strength, whatever you may be facing, with God's help and God's strength, a little common sense, we will get it. And you will get it. I might be to stand with me. I just feel then that we need to have a special time of prayer. Maybe you are facing a battle that uh, you've not verbalized to anyone. And if you had to be real honest with me, you'd say, mm, I'm kind of going through what Elijah went through. And you need to just bow before the Lord today. If that's you today, would you come and kneel at the altar or sit at the pew in the front here? We want to gather around you and pray. Maybe it's a situation that does have to do specifically with the storms of this past week. Maybe it's a family member or someone who's gone through something. And you just simply say, God's strength, I have to rely upon it. If that's you, would you come forward and could we pray for you today? And maybe it's even in a grander scale than all of that. Your faith has literally been shipwrecked from those thoughts that Satan has used. Would you just allow the loving arms of God to wrap around you today? I'd like for the church family, there's people kneeling here, I'd like for you just to come, gather around, lay your hands upon one another. Go ahead and come. I'd like to you to come forward. Maybe you just uh, need to grab the person next to you and say, would you pray for me right now? Father, thank you. What a timely message for this time in our lives. Despair. The world wants to give to us. Depression. So many go through it. Lord, today, we're going to rely on you. We're going to trust you. You are going to see us through the storms of life. So, Lord, thank you. Thank you for each one here. I pray a special blessing 
Lord, as we surrender our lives to you, as we give our lives to you. Family, if, if you're here today and, and the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, you, you can just feel that something down inside of you saying, I need, I need to surrender my life to the Lord so that I can become his child. Folks, that's possible for you today. Would you just rely upon him? We don't know what tomorrow holds. Last Sunday night proved that. Would you have the peace and the assurance that heaven will be your home? Oh, Lord, we surrender to you. Father, thank you. We give you praise. All things we can do in Christ who strengthens you. We love you, Lord Jesus.
God is with us, and God is going to go before us. I believe that God is going to use each one of us in a special ministry this next week as we touch lives as the Lord speaks to us. I'm proud of you all. Let's go in the presence of the Lord this day. As we go forth to continue His work, let's trust upon Him. Through Christ, all things are possible. We are dismissed. Bless you all. Well, 